Hello and welcome to, well, whatever this is. Uh, this is gonna be, I'm gonna make a, like a tier list of all the ships, all the fighters uh, inside Star Citizen. And we're gonna talk about like which ones are good for PvP and which ones are not that good for PvP. And which ones are actually good for PvE now since we are gonna get the atmospheric uh, combat now. Because we have atmospheric missions uh, with the bounty hunting. So let's just roll the intro and let's talk about it. Hello, my name is Grumpy. So, um, yeah, fuck it. Let's let's start with the Tana. So Tana is uh, a really nice ship. I really like it. I always liked it. Uh, it's the best looking ship uh, in the game, but. It is not uh, really maneuverable, and it is not really. Uh, I mean, it does have like if you if you use like uh, uh, the the turrets that you can buy, you can get a lot of firepower, but it's really hard to utilize, and like its cross section is too big, so it's not really a great ship for PvP. PVE though, yeah, it's viable. It's a pretty okay-ish ship for. Um, PvE, but I'm gonna keep it here at C, or like, because this is gonna be the super uh, 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 tier. This is A tier, B, uh, B tier, C tier, etc. F is like, he fucking evaded. Uh, so yeah, Tana is gonna live here, even though I, I adore it. I love this ship. I want more ships like this. I love the vertical verticality and uh, everything it has to do with it, but yeah. Uh, Cartual, on the other hand, still one of the best looking ships in the game. I'm not sure how this is gonna work, because I gotta resize it, but like... Yeah, fuck it. Uh, this, this thing is one of the best PvP ships. If, if you are good with it. If you know how to fly, you know how to fly evasively with your guns on the target. Uh, it deals like... De less damage than the Arrow or the Gladius. It can outperform both the Gladius and the Arrow in atmosphere and uh, in space, but the verticality, which is fucking amazing in this ship, uh, is a problem, because like your whole uh, cross-section is gonna be the front section, so yeah, it's, it's easier to hit this if it if this is attacking you then to hit this right so that's why it's gonna live in mm, a tier a tier but do not get it if you're not good at pvp because you're not gonna like it you're gonna be oof it is not <laughs> to be honest maybe i should drop it to b tier because it is not really good for uh, pve because it has two guns it's pretty decent but you're not gonna take out like well, hammerheads, no, you're not gonna take on any hammerheads with it. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let, let, just like, side note, good for uh, PvP, uh, if you're really good. <sighs> Okay-ish for PvE, even though there are better. Fuck it, I'm gonna drop it down. I'm gonna drag it down to B. There we go. B tier. Fuck it. Next on the line is the Aurora. Aurora uh, is a starter ship. Uh, I hated it when I got it. Is, is there an option to see the cockpit? No. Okay, we're just gonna keep it like this. Uh, so, Aurora is actually a pretty decent PvP ship now. It can deal on certain amount of damage, which is not that bad, but it has such a small cross-section, because like... Like, you can look at this, or you can look at, like, this, and this is basically the Aurora. This would be the Arrow, this, or the Gladius, this would be the Aurora. So, for that reason, I'm gonna keep it at B, even though, for PvE, like, if you're fighting anything bigger than, like, a Valkyrie, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna have, uh, issues. Now, the P-52... Is this the P-52? What is it? No, this is the P-72. Oh, this is the P-52. Uh, okay. Same, same fucking ship, anyway. So, these are the best PvP ships by far. The only issue is, 
I will put him here. But the only issue is that currently, fuck it, I'm just gonna put him here. Currently, they're pretty broken. Uh, sorry, because they. The MFDs are simply not working. I reported it, I don't know how many times. Um, it just doesn't get like uploaded or confirmed. So it's gonna stay like that for God knows how long. So yeah, both the Archimedes and the Merlin should sit uh, in super tier or here solely because they are perfect for PvPing. You can take out a Gladius or an Arrow with ease in these uh, these ships firstly because they're small and there's cross-section like wh uh, wherever your position uh, is when you're attacking the merlin it is so small and it is so maneuverable that it's really hard to hit it and it has decent armament and you can actually take down like bigger ships i i I I maybe still have a footage. Uh, if I do, I'm gonna like roll it in the background uh, of me taking down an Ares Ion, or was it an Inferno? I don't know. And then a Gladius in Arena Commander with a P52 Merlin. So recommendations if you're PVPing, if you wanna PVE, well, nah. Yeah, you can take down a Valkyrie, but Hammerhead, fuck no, that's not gonna happen. But simply and solely because they are so good for PvP, I'm just, I'm gonna keep him uh, up there in super tier, whatever. Mustang Delta, uh, it's too big. It is too big. Uh, it is maneuverable now. It is pretty good, like maneuverability wise, but it's just too big. And I'm gonna keep it F E uh, E. Fuck it, I'm gonna be ge generous now. I'm gonna be generous. Okay, Gladius. Gladius is gonna go all the way up into the super tier. But of course, uh, firstly, yes, it is a decent PVE ships uh, ships ship. Even though there's better ships, that's how my brain works. It's just like. In, in the future, always. Uh, <laughs> whatever. Uh, it is a, a pretty good PvP ship. It's, it, it is one of the best PvP ships solely because of the uh, maneuverability. It is like you can side strafe and up strafe and down strafe uh, better than m the rest of the ships, except the Cartoir and the Merlins uh, or the uh, Archimedes and the Merlin. But it is not for for everyone uh to be honest it is not for me yet i'm still somewhat getting accustomed to the sticks i have them for a couple of months i'm uh, getting pretty decent with them but with the gladius i it could be just my, like my frame rate or uh, the input lag or whatever so if i'm trying to target uh a target an enemy uh th this would be like my crosshair and this would be his pip and i tend to overcorrect because like it is so twitchy and it needs you really needs to get accustomed to the sticks so you can understand and actually aim with the gladius uh because solely because like you can like, adjust a bit and it's just gonna jump basically so i i tend to overcorrect and i tend to like miss most of my shots with the gladius but the arrow on the other hand it is perfect for me although I simply don't get why it has a single size one shield while well, like um, I don't know like M50 has two size ones and the Gladius has like Gladius is just a superior ship if you can fly it if you are not really good at it uh, like I am get an arrow basically all right so the Pisces the Pisces is a ship that I adore uh, it, it is a flying car basically it is uh, on uh, on Star Citizen web website, you can see that it is a snub fighter. I have no idea uh, what is it made for. Like, it doesn't come with the uh, A90 jump, as far as I know. So, I don't know. Anyway, this thing has four size ones. It has a pretty, pretty good maneuverability. Uh, the armament is fine. Uh, it can be compared to the Gladius. I think they're really close, like DPS-wise. So I'm gonna keep it at 
like A tier. Although you will not have a lot of fun PVEing with it, uh, simply because uh, the size one guns, like even if you use the cannons, they are not really effective against like bigger targets. So for that matter, like just because of that, I, I should like keep it at B. But like, cause it's really good and like its cross section is so small, it's simply a fucking car that flies. Just because of that, I'm gonna keep it at A tier, because it's really good. Well, fucking elephant in the room. Literally, it's big as a fucking elephant. <sighs> yeah, A tier. I fucking hate this ship. Like, CG nerfed it. This is the Ion. Uh, the Inferno is pretty much the same, but like, the Ion is a, a bit better. Uh, they nerfed it. But the main problem of the Ion was that it can like outperform the Gladius, the Merlin, the 85X, the Arrow, the M50. You can just like if you have an Ion, you can just press Shift and or like boost in a certain direction, and you're gonna be faster. Like your acceleration is gonna be faster than any of the light fighters, because you can pull like uh, when they released it, you you would pull like 40 to 50 Gs in a straight line. Now, it's like 16 G's, but it's still too much. So, yeah, it, that needs to be nerfed. Other than that, like, when that gets nerfed, it's gonna be, it's gonna live basically in C tier, where it should live, because it is a heavy fighter. Although, against uh, PvE, or in a PvE scenario, this thing really shines, and this thing is fucking amazing. So... Yeah, I wouldn't ever buy it with, with like real money, but I'm gonna grind for it in the game. Next thing is gonna be the Sentinel. The Sentinel, uh, I liked it before. I don't like it anymore. Uh, it's okay. Like the the addition of the turret is is a pretty good thing, but like uh, other than that, like ugh, C tier. It can live here. Like, yeah, yeah, if you have a Redeemer, you can use the size 5, five Gatling on the nose gun. Uh, it's the same with the uh, Harp or, or whatever. But the EMP is not that good. Uh, it is better on the, we or on the, what's it called, the Warlock. So basically, if possible, if you really don't need it, yeah, maybe get another ship. And when I'm talking about another ship, if you want a ship for, like, two people, a multi, uh, like a introduction for uh, multi-crewing it's gonna be this thing this thing is still broken or amazing whatever you want to say about it and it's gonna live here of course if you don't have a third gunner well you're fucked like it can't really perform as good as the other ships uh, although it is a really small target like compared to the buccaneer it's pretty much the size of a buccaneer and just to add on the like how broken it is uh it's like all like whole hull hp is gonna be in the center portion because like you can only break off like the wing tips like these little things here and that's it other than that all of the hull hp is gonna be here so uh, why am uh, why am I saying that? Because like Sentinel has all of its HAL HP spread out, or any other Vanguard has all of its uh, HAL HP spread out in like three sections, like the wings or the like engines, w w whatever you want to call it, and in the center section. And like since 3.15, if you take out the engine on a Sentinel, it's pretty much fucked. So yeah, just get a Hurricane. Basically, get a hurricane because it's better. Uh, blades, it's the same with scythe. Uh, I like them. They are cool ships, but they're gonna live here, and that's it. Like they are not as maneuverable as they should be. 
they are not as powerful as they should be they have like uh repeaters and cannons which like fucks with your pip and you can't really shoot you can't really target with it because like you don't know like I, I think the pip is set set to like uh, follow the cannon round so you're gonna miss with your repeaters unless you're just jousting but like ugh, that's not how you pvp uh, what is this? Oh, this is the Talon. Talon, Talon got nerfed. Talon is a pretty decent ship still, but it's gonna live here. And why is that? Uh, it has two size fours like the Cart Wall. Yes, uh, but the Cart Wall has more maneuverability. This thing has a better cross section than the Cart Wall, but once you take out a wingtip, this thing cannot fly like even in space it can't fly and you're dead you're pretty much dead meat so basically there's if you want a pvp there's better ships if you want a pve well you should get a ship with, with like more guns because like since 3.14 dropped and the uh, uh with the new revamp of the uh, uh, uh weapon mechanics more weapons means more firepower means better <laughs> basically on that note let's talk about the c8x pisces c8x yeah i never said that out loud out loud um yeah pisces i love the pisces i think this is the best fucking starter ship ever it costs a bit more than like the other starter ships but it has a bit more firepower and maneuverability and yeah it's gonna live uh, in between here like it's not the best pvp ship it is not even close to being a good uh pve ship even though you can actually like destroy the uh all the valkyries like all the vhrts etc but like it maneuvers okay ish in atmosphere because like in 316 we are getting atmospheric bounties so that's gonna matter a lot because you're gonna have like more atmospheric bounties than you're gonna have uh, um fucking uh, asteroid bounties or whatever you want to call them so pisces oh fuck me i really i really like this ship and it, it's, it's gonna be here it's fine like it's simply in between uh a and b tier uh gladiator ah uh, i love this ship but this ship is just trash now <laughs> yeah like there are better ships so it's gonna be on like c tier it's a medium fighter but it doesn't really perform that well because it has like two size threes and a turret with two size threes so that's basically a single saber and it, ha it has, it does have a bunch of torpedoes, etc, etc, but like, torpedoes, you can hit fucking flares, and torpedoes are dead, missiles are dead, like, we don't even want to count missiles on this channel, we're talking about the current state of the game, so, basically, yeah, it's okay-ish, maybe even in D tier, yeah, D tier suits it better, so it, it, I like it. It reminds me of like bombers from uh, Star Wars, but ah, yeah, no, sorry. Uh, okay, yeah, no, 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 no. Go back to Elite Dangerous. Okay, there you go. Next ship is gonna be <laughs> I, I like Nomad. No, 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 no. Next ship is gonna be, of course, the Hawk. The Hawk is one of, like, I really didn't like the design of the Hawk, and then I flew it, and I was like, yeah, that's a pretty good ship. Uh, that's ex especially true in, like, the current patches, because, like, after we got uh, the update for the weapons, this thing has six weapons. It has, like, two size ones and four size twos. It deals a lot of damage. It deals... Uh, the same amount of damage as a Buccaneer or a Hornet with like uh, size ones and uh, two size twos on top. So, yeah, it's awesome. It has an EMP, which is even fucking better. But it does not fly in atmosphere. It's just like whatever you do, it's just gonna, it's just gonna 
be weird and and yeah so for that reason it's gonna be here on c tier even though i adore this ship and like <sighs> why like if, if we have an arrow arrow is designed to be to, to look like an actual like arrow tip and that should like fucking planes that are designed like that they go fast but they don't really turn hawk and like talon they are birds of prey and they like birds of prey can turn on a dime in atmosphere so why are the birds of prey turning slower than the arrow i'm not gonna rant any much longer so let's go to the next one m50 m50 is one of the best fighters uh in the game currently it does have uh a shitty armament like two size twos and like its cross section is small it's a bit larger than the merlin or the archimedes but it has two size one shields which is just amazing but again turn turning in atmosphere is gonna be an issue for the ship i have no idea what they did to it but whenever uh, uh, like wind blows your uh, nose just tip, tips like downwards uh, whenever you want to pull a couple of g's uh, in atmosphere it just like goes crazy so yeah it's gonna live here even though in space this thing is a great fucking pvp ship uh you should check it out uh next ship is gonna be the avenger warlock yeah yeah I'm, i i just have the warlock uh the avenger warlock um yeah this is this is basically one of my favorite fighters uh solely because of the emp uh, because that EMP can, like, if you pop it close to an enemy and the enemy is in a small fighter, if he is, like, in a Gladius, it's gonna basically destroy his shields in, like, an instant. You don't even need to fucking shoot the shields. Then you can sh shoot the hull. Or, if the shields are down, you pop the EMP and his uh, ship goes to, into sleep mode. So, this thing is really good. It is not performing as good as uh, the Gladius or Archimedes or any of the other, like the Pi uh, fucking C uh, fucking 85X, there we go, uh, or the Pisces. Uh, it doesn't turn that well. It is pretty fast, but like the acceleration is, it's okay, but like the Gladius can catch up to it. So yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna live right next to the M50. Although, if you have more friends with you, you should take this thing, because this thing is going to disable basically any ship. This thing has a better uh, EMP than the Sentinel. It can cool down faster and it can recharge faster. So, yeah, check it out. It's fucking awesome. So let's see where we are. Razor. Razor is like even worse than the... Uh, M50 right now, so it's basically the same thing, but it just doesn't fly in atmosphere for some reason, even though it's a racing ship, and it's not really that maneuverable, like even even in space. So it's, it's gonna live right next to the Mustang. Let's see what what do we have here? 300 uh, 300 series uh, with like three to five. Yeah, yeah, get a warlock. Basically, get a warlock. Uh, they look good, they're amazing inside and outside, but get a warlock, they're really not that good. Uh, yeah, they can go fast, but that's only good for running away, and that's it. Okay, what do we have here? I have no idea what this is. Oh, no, 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 I skipped one. Harb? Harb is gonna live the Vanguard Harbinger or hum Harbinger or however you want to call it. It's gonna live here on D. Uh, it doesn't accelerate as good as the Sentinel. Uh, its turn rate and everything is the same, but the acceleration is worse. And it has like torpedoes and missiles, and they simply don't work. Uh, most of the times, when you fire a torpedo or a missile, it's gonna hit you. So why even fucking use it? Uh, if, even if it doesn't hit you, the other guy is gonna pop flares, and that's it. 
like the the missile is def defeated and like you don't even need to fucking think about that so what is this this is gonna be the next ship that oh saber okay so saber is a weird one um uh, i dislike it but i also like it it performs in atmosphere really fucking good um it's almost uh, god tier like the arrow in the atmosphere uh, so because of that i'm gonna set it here in a tier even though it's armament it's like four size trees like buccaneer and uh the hornet and uh, ships like that have uh, like more firepower uh but it performs really good in atmosphere also it has like um stealth mechanics uh, integrated into its hull blah 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 so it's it's good i miss the third shield because it is it is like <laughs> I don't know like buccaneer is a bit better for me at least so yeah let's talk about the hornet because i touched upon it for a second hornet all of the variants are the same watch my video uh, about the hornets uh they are basically the same some of them just have uh, another seat and that guy in the back can like control the turrets it has the same amount of ammo so why even fucking get that it's just gonna have your cross section bigger uh, it's a good ship, but it's like C tier. It is just too big. Uh, it's it's cross section is just a bit too big. Uh, it has like in the, uh, if you use two size ones in the nose and two size twos on the like the ball turret, you're gonna get the same uh, DPS that you get with the Buccaneer. But the Buccaneer is smaller. The Buccaneer is faster. The Buccaneer is a bit more maneuverable, so why use the Hornet, basically? The Buccaneer! One of my favorite ships. If not the favorite fighter, although I, I rarely use it because I'm PvPing more and more. This thing is small. If you compare its uh, cross section to the other ships, it's basically a small fighter. Or a light fighter. But. It doesn't turn as well as a Gladius or the Arrow, which which is okay, because like it has more firepower than the Gladius and the Arrow, pretty much both. So I'm gonna keep it at like this tier, even though the Saber performs better in the atmosphere, but but it's like potato tomato. <laughs> so um Saber performs a bit better in the atmosphere. You can uh, go faster and turn uh, in a, like small circles. Uh, the Buccaneer can go a lot faster in like open space. Even if, if you boost in some atmosphere, it's gonna be faster, I think. But um, it has more firepower. Uh, hence, it's gonna be better for PvE or even for PvP if you're attacking bigger ships. So, Buccaneer like it, it's really close to being living here but like solely because it doesn't turn or maneuver like side reef etc like the gladius or these two things <sighs> yeah i would love to have it here because i love this ship this is like basically my go-to ship whenever i'm um pve -ing. and now <laughs> The clear winner of the competition is gonna be the Arrow. The Arrow is the smoothest ride that you can have in the atmosphere and in space. Although, it doesn't go as fast as the Buccaneer, it doesn't have as many guns as the rest of the ships, it does have a bit more DPS than the Gladius, it has more DPS than the Merlin and the Archimedes, but it has just one size one shield which is okay <laughs> better than nothing but i would love to have at least one more size zero shield i don't know like just help it out with something uh but this thing is amazing and like in space uh it performs really good in atmosphere it is the best ship to fly in uh, it is the best ship to fight in uh, you can outturn 
everyone you can still aim in atmosphere uh, like the only ship that you can do that with uh is gonna be the car to wall and uh maybe the talent the talent is okay-ish but with the gladius or the hawk or the hawk is the worst ship basically in atmosphere but with the gladius whenever you try to yaw or to turn your ship is just gonna be like this and you're not your aim is gonna be like all, all over the place so yeah well just get the arrow arrow is basically the best pvp ship even but there, there's just one catch and that catch is try not to get hit <laughs> basically try not to get hit because like yeah yeah like yeah there's like some armor mechanics inside of it and like people are gonna tell you that but no like it has less hull hp than the gladius it has one says one shield and it goes like this like a few shots and your shield is down if you get emp'd with your shields up uh with the size 4 emp's from the warlock or the sentinel uh you're gonna get emp'd because that emp is gonna go through the shield and into your systems so yeah and your shield is gonna be down of course so yeah but other than that the arrow is just amazing and it is my favorite ship to pvp with uh <sighs> pve wise get a buccaneer just get a buccaneer this thing, yeah, this thing is not really great at PvPing, but, or PvEing, this is obviously uh, the Mantis, uh, this thing is really good at, like, stopping ships from hopping away from you, and that's it, like, two size threes, if I remember correctly, they're fine, but uh, it's such a big ship, it's such a slow ship, it doesn't really turn, and, uh, it's... Okay, yes. And in the end, because I know that you're gonna ask, we have the Banu Defender, which is one of my favorite ships to fl low fly with. Uh, it's a really good ship for, for doing uh, those kind of things. But as a fighter, not really. Like the Banu Defender, it has four size threes. It's the same as the Saber, but it doesn't really perform like. On paper, yes, it does perform as a saber, and it has pretty decent maneuverability in uh, space and in atmosphere, and it has a size 2 shield. So, solely because of the shield, it's gonna live here, but for PvP and uh, PvE, yeah, maybe it's a decent ship for PvP, PvE, but for, for PvP, no. I'm getting confused with all the fucking acronyms, but for PvP, really, it's really not good, that good because like it has a huge ass cross section. Uh, when dual sight, I already said that. Like uh, whatever, like really whatever. Here, uh, talent strike. Uh, you're gonna be here just to keep company. Just to be, the, yeah, yeah, there you go. Go back to Elite Dangerous. Also, this thing is fucking ugh. You don't really want missiles in this game because CAG doesn't want missiles to work, I guess. And in the end, you have, you know that I'm a Drake boy. This is a really, really outdated image. Okay, <laughs> the first one I found. The Drake Heller, Herald, uh, I like this ship. It's the fastest ship in the game, unless the <laughs> Ion uh, uh, changed that, but I think it's still the fastest ship in the game. And uh, it doesn't have a lot of firepower, but what it does have is uh, decent maneuverability and like in atmosphere, it doesn't really turn that well. But in atmosphere, if you get attacked, you can run. You can try to fight an arrow, you're gonna die, but like, if you come to the point of dying, just boost away and you can go full speed through atmosphere. So for that matter, I'm gonna keep it here, uh, solely because in 314 and 315, I was able to destroy uh, Sentinels and all of the other vanguards and all of the medium fighters with the Herald. And it is really good to like 
get out of atmosphere uh, of Crusader because, like, you know how how bad it is. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I think I didn't skip any of the fighters. I mean, l let me think. Yeah, yeah, that, that that is pretty much it. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, etc., etc., and uh, don't forget to bring a towel uh, when you're traveling through space, and da 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 da, subscribe. Thank you. I'm waiting for you to hit the red button down there. Thank you. Hit the bell also. Bye. Mwah.